Hey everyone, this is Kadisha Najmi here and this right here is my very first video on my channel. This channel is going to be a lot about home decor, DIYs, and room makeovers. I recently moved into my new home and I'm going to be tackling one room at a time, taking you guys along with my journey. In this video, I'm going to be doing a guest bathroom makeover. So let's get right into it. When planning my guest bathroom makeover, I took a couple of steps. First step was to pretty much scroll down my Pinterest feed looking for guest bathroom inspiration. I came across a couple of different photos, but all these photos have pretty much one thing in common. They all had board and batten on half the wall and I did not want it to go that route because I did not have a lot of tools that you had to use for that. I was looking for a more of an affordable option and I did not want to spend a lot of money on purchasing a wallpaper. But then I came across this picture right here from Apartment Therapy, I believe, and that picture was like, okay, I need to do this to my bathroom wall. And that's exactly what I did. I did not use the color that was used in this picture because I wanted a little bit more beige in the color. So I looked everywhere, everywhere, but I could not find the color that I wanted. So I had to mix my own paint. I used Barnwood Plank from Malloth. I'm going to put the name of the color in the description box but it was too dark so I had to buy a interior white paint and primer from Walmart and I mixed those two together and created a very very light beigey gray paint that came out really really beautiful. So let's go ahead and take the tour of my old guest bathroom. Okay, so next step is to take a dry cloth, uh, which is actually a Swiffer Sweeper dry cloth, and go ahead and wipe all the dust from the walls. I really like this cloth because um, it catches a lot of dust. And yes, I did not leave any spots. Okay guys, look at like how much dirt was on my walls I mean and it's like a weird like brown color one time I tried cleaning my walls with soap water because I had accidentally made a really thick pencil mark to put one of my frames on the wall and then like literally all the paint came off from that specific part of the wall and I was like what the heck so I had to like repaint it this was a new construction so I don't know like if they just put a bunch of paint on there and didn't really actually put a coating I don't know how they paint walls anyway so but this was my way to clean out all the dust so I can start like actually painting my wall so we'll see how it turns out and if it messes up then you know I'll learn Okay, next step is to put the painter's tape on areas where you don't want to get paint. We're going to start painting. I did those three just to see how the paint looks, the color. But what I'm doing is I grab this sponge that you use to wash your dishes. <laughs> and then I cut the side of it straight because mine was kind of like a curvy sponge and then what I'm doing is I'm actually dipping the sponge in the paint and pressing it against the wall to get the paint transfer. I started from the very bottom because I wanted to kind of go column by column vertical 
to keep everything kind of straight because I'm not using a laser or a ruler. So that was actually my way of keeping everything in line and straight. So as you can see, I'm going from my right to left and then I'm just going to go ahead and build up on it. All right, a little bit of update. I actually swapped out my old sponge with the uh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. I actually watched Lone Fox's video and saw that he actually did this too. He uses the sponge and I feel like it's so much easier to like make those little patterns and I don't even have to like press it that much and it's coming out clean like really nice clean lines like if you see like at the bottom you'll see like all weird missing some of the paint and stuff but just look at the difference and I'm like oh. okay I'm just gonna go ahead and like dip some right here and I'm doing exactly how you did so I'm just gonna like wipe some of the paint off and once I have like the paint that I want so once I have the paint um, like on the sponge I'm gonna go ahead and put it up so check this out and it looks amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and do the entire roll with it. The good thing about doing it with this sponge is I'm not even going to use a lot of paint but that sponge was horrible like do not use a sponge that you use to wash your dishes. That sponge scotch bright not good for doing this stuff. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser is like the best tool you can use to DIY your wallpaper or do this kind of like project. So I'm gonna finish my project here because I've got a long way to go. Like, uh. Okay, well that was me rambling for I don't know how long but but I'm going to shut up and let you guys uh, watch me do my thing. Okay, so here, um, just since that was a mirror there, I had to cut the sponge a little bit to fit and create some extra pattern around the mirror. Hey guys, um, just a little bit of update on my sponge. I accidentally washed it and I'm glad I had two but this was my second one. <laughs> when you wash it, like it does not dry off completely. It still has like that wet feeling and I left it outside for entire day, but it did not dry off. So really um, buy one sponge for each day. So I only bought two, but if you're gonna take like more than two days, like three or four days, buy three or four sponges. All right. Okay, I think I'm finally done, but I'm just gonna go in with some final touches. I'm gonna use the paint brush to kind of go over the little spots where I can't reach with the sponge and just fin finish off. And I'm also gonna go back with uh, my sponge and fix the issues that I had earlier on with my project. Okay, so it looks like I am finally done <laughs> with painting the entire wall. And yeah, I think it's time to take off the tape and uh, we're gonna start working on the decor, which I'm really excited about. I 
Okay, before we get into decorating, I do want to share with everyone that most of the home decor items that I used in my bathroom makeover, I already owned. So for some of you who do not want to spend that extra money to purchase like brand new home decor items to decorate your bathroom, you can look at all the stuff that you already have and, you know, figure out what kind of vibe do these decor items have mine had more of a bohemian vibe so then all the other stuff that i had to purchase to add to this bathroom um, then i kind of had that vibe in the back of my mind and so i just went ahead and purchased those items to go with the vibe so that way things don't look out of place and this is kind of like a tip for you guys who want to kind of use what you already have and we'll go ahead and get back into decorating Okay, I'm pinning these new shower curtains I purchased from Home Goods, and I really like the the pattern on them. Putting the shelf back on that I took off before, I kind of struggled a little bit because originally my husband put it up, and this time I had to put it up because my husband told me he does not want anything to do with my project. <laughs> this is the cutest part because I love these soap dispensers. I got them from Amazon. And this one I actually got from Home Goods, but the green part of it was very, very thick. So I took the green part off and I cut the little leaves off and stick them back into the foam that was in the pot. It took me forever to sell these shells. Um, trust me, I went back and forth a lot of times. But I edited that part of the video out so I can show you the cutest way to sell these shelves. That hairy plant is so cute. It gives this bathroom a very cute bohemian vibe. Um, in those little containers, I got them from the dollar store. I put cotton studs, studs, <laughs> cotton buds and um, earbuds. I have no idea what they're called. I always mess up. Anyways, you know what I mean. And um, I put the air freshener and a perfume for the guests to use. I bought this uh, cute mini trash can from Home Goods. I um, really like the color. It went with my theme. And then this uh, toilet bowl cleaner from Walmart. I bought this cute little brush holder from Michaels a long time ago and it says brush on it and then these uh, biodegradable toothbrushes um, really went with my decor. So I had to add a rug pad that I purchased from Target and then I put the rug on top of it because I do not want my guests to be sliding and slipping and uh, yeah. Now it's time for the Big reveal. If you really like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more makeovers like that please don't forget to hit subscribe it's gonna really help my channel thank you so much for watching bye bye